Oh, I just want to, I know I want to thank God for this opportunity, you know, thank my family, my team supporting me. Thank you guys for, you know, for giving me the chance. But, uh, you know, I feel great. I feel great. Uh, I feel fucking strong. I'm ready to fight, you know. I'm not really going to do that much talk, you know. This guy over here can talk and say all kinds of bullshit, playing a little mental issue bullshit. It's car. That was the case. I got shot. The doctor told me I was never going to walk again. And I'm still here fighting, so I don't play none of them excuses bullshit. Come, come that night, I'm gonna beat the fuck out of him. He's gonna see who a real fucking puncher is. That's all I gotta say. Wow. And and, and and if you could, can you tell us the contracted weight uh for the fight? It's at 163 because um this guy had a make up excuse that he couldn't make the weight. So he was going through some hard times, I guess, so he can't make the weight. So we have to go to 63. So you ask him about that. All right. Well, let's Boy's talk not about disciplined. Boy's not disciplined, so it is what it is. Um, training camp has been awesome. Uh, I've been training for a while now. I'm ready to go. Um, Benavidez, uh, Jose Benavidez, great fighter. Got nothing bad to say about you. You'll see when we get in there. You know what I mean? You're going to have to make the adjustments. Keep running your mouth, mister. You'll see when we get in there. You've been training for a while. Why don't you want to fight at 160 then? There's no discipline there, is there? Okay. You're already scared. Why are you sweating for? You're already scared. I fight, at, huh? I fight at once. I'm the champ at 160. Exactly. So why aren't you fighting at 160? Why'd you might want to make a camp? I'll at fight at 160. You, you, you yeah. can't make weight or what? I don't got nothing to do with Okay. No, I'm good. Okay. I could have. I could have made fight at whatever I wanted it to be at. You need yeah, to fight. Exactly. Me. But you chose to, to fight at 163 for now, to, and you, you, you want to defend your title. What happened with that? Me. You I'll doing me? Uh, I'm gonna fight you. Don't worry about that. I'm gonna fight you. I'm gonna beat the fuck out of you. You already look off. You already scared. Why are you sweating for? You already sweating. Sweating. Fucking sweating, pussy. boy. I ain't sweating Sweat you me. at all. Listen, I, I, I think that, I think this funny? fight. Hey, yo, this, this shit gonna be crazy. Why? It is. I want it's you to gonna be funny. I whoop your ass. That's what it's gonna be. Keep that same energy. Keep that same energy. Keep that same energy. Trust me, I always do. I always do. Ask anyone. I always do. Right. Well, let's hold up, guys. Let's keep this same energy. I ain't one of the fighters. I ain't one of the fighters. You gonna like try to choke at the weigh-ins or some shit like that. Hey, oh, none of the bullshit. I, I, you know what? Good thing you said that because then you're going to try to fucking pull some bullshit ass. No, we're going to beat the shit out you, your you daddy, your mommy, your whole town. Hold on, hold on. Let's, let's get into wife, this fight. Your wife, all kind of shit. I love it. Jose, let me start with you. Let me start with you. Everybody, everybody. Let, let me start. Okay, hold on, hold on, Maul. Let me let me, me start with Jose, and I'll get, I'll get right back to you, Jose. Let me let me start with you. You know, you got a good opportunity. You yeah, I'm gonna whoop your ass. That's all I gotta say. I'm gonna whoop your ass. And I'm, I'm giving you an opportunity. Oh. I'm giving you the opportunity that you have for. You need to be thankful. Be I'm thankful. God. I'm thankful to my family. I'm thankful. Sure enough, thank you. Yeah, you be grateful. Be, show be, time be, to be grateful. Yeah, yeah, be grateful, bro. I'm gonna be resting. It don't matter. I'm gonna be resting. No excuses. I got nothing else to say. No excuses. I hope. I hope you're not. Uh, you know, looking, thinking that I'm going to be rusty, but that's fine. Like, think think whatever you want to think. I've been training, even though y'all haven't seen me actually fight, I've been working. So, I mean, you'll see. I don't got nothing else to say. Yeah, smile, grin, do whatever you want to see. You'll see. I'm going to show you who the fucking big dog is. So. It ain't nothing, bro. You just all talk, bro. All I'm not all talk. talk. You're the one who swear when I see you in Vegas. Stop acting like you don't remember me. I never said you. I ain't, I ain't never said you. I don't even, I don't even know how up. you. Bro, this is my first time ever seeing you, for real. I, ain't, I don't even watch boxing. I don't even watch. I ain't even watch you fight Danny Garcia or Terrence Crawford or none of them. I'm not I'm talking about even, fights. I'm talking I haven't about even studied you, you at all. I don't even know movie. how you fight. When I saw you in person. That's you are. You ain't never seen me in person. Shut up, you man. You ain't never seen me in okay. person, you scrub. You ain't never hey, Ma, seen me. Ma, what, you know, one, of the, one of the things Jose asked you at the, at the very me? top was, why, are, why aren't you serious. guys fighting at 160? Why aren't you fighting for your title? Can you respond to that? Man, I'm listening to the handlers. I'm I'm listening to what uh, the WBC is telling me. And uh, I'm going in the fight. Uh, I'm about to start training camp tomorrow. So, like, you know, I'm getting ready right now. Look, look, look at him. Look, what you worry you're starting, about? You're, you're starting training camp. Worry, I'm about to start. You been I'm about to start training camp. Yeah, I'm about to. You know, where is your advantage, right? Like you worried about it, but I'm about to start training camp tomorrow. Yeah, I'm chilling. I'm chilling right now. Yeah, you. Ain't. That's how I'm. That's how I'm looking at you. Right. I'm about to start training camp tomorrow. I ain't. I ain't. I ain't through no punches yet. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. You, 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 you see like. it when you see it. When you see it, you must be whooping your ass. 
Yeah, okay. When you see it, you'll see it. <laughs> uh, right. is, uh, hey, Jamal, is this is this the first since it is at uh, one sixty three? Is this the first step towards eventually fighting at one sixty eight, where his brother yes, campaigns and you know Canelo, where everyone yes, thinks sir. that you'll end up? Yeah, yes, sir. This this the first step to like you know what I mean. Uh, getting to the next weight class. I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use the I'm gonna use the little big brother. With his with his little man syndrome, I'm gonna use him. Hey, I'm as big as you. I'm, I'm as big as you. you. What you mean? Ain't near big as me. What, what you, you mean? I'm as big as you. I'm bigger oh, than you. What the fuck? You will see. You start the eating the fucking thinking. jabs in the right hands. Okay. You will see. You will see how big you is. You will see how big you. Jump you, okay. up there and get it. Jump up there and get it. I'm gonna, I'm I'm gonna, gonna show you. Yeah, I'm gonna whoop your ass. Ain't gonna whoop shit. I'm gonna get your comb so you can brush your fucking nappy ass fucking hair too. Ain't never whoop nobody. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Yeah, uh, yeah. When you, yeah, yeah. Jose, right. when you when you've looked at video uh, of Jamal Charlo, what gives All you? All he see is me knocking somebody the fuck out. I don't somebody gotta look at that video. He's fucking fast. Yeah, what what gives you your him. biggest confidence gotta... going into this fight, Jose? Yeah, what gives you your big? What, why are you so confident, scrub? So you gotta be confident. That's what you gotta yeah, you be. Right? Be you gotta be because they don't seem like you you're confident in your motherfucking self. You don't see how true. Shut your ass. You don't see. He's not a boy. Okay. You know how many motherfuckers said what you said? 32 of them. They're all bums. They all bums, huh? Okay, watch. You can be one of them. Okay. Yeah. And, and what, is it, what gives Don't you your biggest confidence, Jose? I just feel, you know, like I said, I, I, I've i been in a in a tough training camp. I've been training for a while now. You know, I've been sparring my brother. I've been sparring. We've had a lot of great, you know, big sparring partners. I'm talking about big guys that actually hit hard. And I just feel strong. I feel ready. You know, I'm, I'm motivated more than anything. Hmm. Uh, Maul, can, can you give us some insight? You know, one of the things, you know, that uh, uh, you heard uh, uh, Jose talk about it. I know you've talked about it is mental health. It, coming, can you give us some sense? Is Jamal Charlo mentally, physically back at the elite level, especially on November 25th when he gets I'm in back. the ring? I'm back. My God's grace, I'm back. I'm back. Guys, we'll wrap it up with this. Jose. Yeah, I'm back. Back, Jose. Back on your ass, boy. Back uh, on your ass. You've never been on my ass, baby. You've never been on my ass. So. We're, we're going, exactly. We're, I don't even know you. But when I, when, 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 you, know, so you, uh, you know who the fuck I am. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you all that shit you talking. I'm going to show you all that shit you talking. Back my shit up. Okay. I like I it. I hope uh, so. I, I gotta gotta ask you this because for both of you, um, Jose, in the main event, your brother in Andrade, who wins that fight and why? My Obviously, brother, it's your brother, course, you but know. tell us why. Why you believe your brother is gonna win that fight? Like I've said before, no one beats my brother at sixty-eight. He's big, super strong. You know, fast for that way. You know, he's just dedicated. We're dedicated. You know, we make a great team, and he's. We've been training extra hard. You know, my brother, like I said, my brother's the Mexican monster, you know. And I don't see him losing at 68. Uh, Maul, same question to you. Who wins in that main event? And in your opinion, is that one of those guys would you like to fight in the future? I'm going to be both of that ass. I'm going to be him and his brother ass. I'm going to be both of that ass. I'm going to stick forever in your fucking bloodline watch and who wins that main event? You think? I'm gonna come and beat your brother. Hey, don't, ass hey. Shut up, nigga. I'm gonna beat don't bring your, your mental brother. illness, pussy. Yeah, don't worry about my mental illness. My oh, just don't illness. don't bring that bullshit up. Don't bring those fucking excuses. I, I, I saw your ass as a fucking pop, bitch. Not. I learned how to deal with oh, my shit. You fucking just make you like a little shit. fucking girl. That's you can't fine. walk that Shut same block no more, though. You can't walk that same block no more. Where they pop your ass? I'm still walking. I'm still fighting. I'm not making excuses. I'm not over here fucking crying on every fucking video I post on Instagram. Yeah, it's cool. You ain't have to fuck up. You're a fucking clown. You have to go deal with it. You're a clown. You have to go. You have to make it deal with it. Clown, so you bitch. I love this. You listen. Obviously, smoke, th this is going to be intense. It's going to be an all-action fight. You got and we'll get you to want to really miss. I know there's so members tough. of the media who got like questions. We got Chris de Blasio. You can't even use that fucking leg. Sports. You're going to need the communications department. 
Pop your Chris, ass I know initiated. there are members of the media. Talk Guys, hold on a second. There's, there's, stupid ass. There, there's members of the media who got questions for you. Anyway, Chris, what? if you could, let members of the media in so you they can ask questions. You, you, you lose at the top yeah. level. I you know, ain't your brother. I'm trying to be your brother, boy. I love it. At least your brother can fight unlike your bitch I Listen. You can't even walk that same block. Chris, you ain't, you you ain't even living out there no more. You ain't even living out there no more. You ain't even living out there no more. You, La La you ran. They popped your ass and you ran. They popped your ass and you ran, Goofy. Who ran? You you get ran. your Goofy ass. You ran. Right. You in a whole nother state. Hey, and I'm fighting. I got, I got shot, but I'm still fighting. Yeah, you I'm not need me now. Excuses. You I'm need me now. I don't feel good. I'm not my mind. I'm not the right place. Hold on, guys. We got members of the media. They want to ask you questions. They popped your stupid ass. You out there, bitch. Shut up. All right, okay. go ahead, Chris. Watch okay, I'm watch your fucking dirty right. ass, nappy ass hair. And wipe that fucking ass out of your face. Are you scared? Uh, Do you feel that David will beat Andrade in the main event that night? It's going to be a good fight. Um, Andrade is training hard. Um, I talk to him every day. He's he's looking good. Um, you know, uh, I got respect for both fighters. You know what I mean? Um, I don't got respect for this bum sitting over here, but. I got respect for everybody. You see that little lady that's above your head, that's in that picture. That's how your ass gonna be. Yeah, laying. she worth more than your bitch ass. That's what that. Yeah, that's how your ass gonna be laying like little Saint Joe Mary. Uh -huh. Watch. Um, but yeah, whenever, whenever we'll you know, I got again. respect for everybody. I got. I don't, I don't know. I see when you lose respect for me, that's when it'd be the worst, bro. Go look at my history, bro. Go look at my history. You'll see. Of your history yeah. of what? Everything I see is of you crying. It's cool. I respect your brother. Life. I respect your little brother. I respect your little brother. I got respect for your little brother. Me and your little brother cool. I don't respect crybabies. I don't respect crybabies. You're a fucking crybaby. You're a crybaby. You're a crybaby. You're a crybaby. You're a crybaby. I'm not a crybaby. You're a crybaby. You one time have you seen a tear in my eye? I've seen plenty of yours. You never won in the top competition. You can slap by everyone too. Shut the fuck up. Everyone bitch. That's cool. Yeah, he ran too. I'm going to slap you though. You ain't going to slap you though. I'm going to slap you though. You won't slap no one. Okay, okay, Keith. Uh, talk, 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 your fucking job, bitch. Talk, talk, anything talk, else? Okay. All right. Keith, Isaac, anything else? No. Uh, do you, do, don't you believe it's unfair that you are uh, holding the, the title for two years <laughs> and a half? Uh, what is the reason that you are not putting the, the, the belt on the line? Because <laughs> the world of boxing believes that it's unfair not to put the, the title on the line. Hey, he he fought. He fought August twelfth against a dude that was thirty six and fifteen. And yeah, he stopped him. No, no. Okay. But the question for you, Charlo, is that you yeah, are he fought somebody that was thirty six and fifteen. He stopped him. Good job, Jose. Good job. You did great. Great. You stopped somebody that was thirty. You you haven't had a knockout in one. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six fights. Six fights. That was last time you knocked somebody out. It was 2018. You knocked somebody out way back in 2018, and then you finally knocked this dude out. It was 36 and 16 out. Why I mean, not? Why don't you put in his belt? Should be I'm just saying, like, no problem. Should be no problem. You wanna you wanna make a belt that we can fight for? Uh, should should be no. No, we're fighting for the you one. Wanna make a belt that you don't want to fight for? Belt belt nothing but excuses. It shouldn't be a problem if I haven't knocked them out, right? If I don't hear already from the garbage fire, shouldn't be no problem. You just make fucking excuses. You sound like a fucking girl. You ain't knocked nobody out since 18. I'm going to bring your fucking time for you. sound like a little bitch. You ain't fucked nobody. This is 36 and 15. He knocked him out. So what? Bro, come on, bro. Bro, y'all, y'all, look at the real statistics. It's unfair that you are not putting the title on, on the line, you know, uh, two I years. Put the title on the line. It's, no, it's not got nothing to do with, with weight or nothing like that, man. I'm a professional, you know. I'm um, coming back. Uh, uh, for, uh, I'm about to fight this little stepping stone right here, and then whenever I finish stepping on this stone, then I guess we can okay, put the title on the line Carlos, or whatever. Carlos, you're 60, saying... If not, I'm going to go up to 68. You know what I'm saying? What? I'm worried about the trophies. I, I'm still the champ. You know what I'm saying? No, no matter no, what. No, why is the reason? Game. Why is the reason that you need to take the belt or hold the belt? There's no reason, man. There's no, there's no reason. Y'all want it, you can have it. You come get it tomorrow. Hey, Jamal. We haven't seen you in the ring, obviously, in a couple of years. But what kind of fighter are we going to see out of you here in a couple of weeks? Is it going to be any different than what we've seen in the past? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm a, like I was telling Brian yesterday, my uh, mentor, they caught up with my physical ability. So you should see the best of me. Is there anything specifically that you've been working on during the layoff physically? Yeah, physically, I've been uh, 
I'm naturally uh stronger, I'm naturally bigger, I'm naturally fast, I've been working on my speed, I've been working on my uh, you know, my twitch, my head movement. Um, just a lot of things, you know, I've been sparring big guys. I've been sparring some big guys, uh, so some strong fighters and, and shit. So I should be uh I should be at the top of my game. I mean, I'm I'm definitely in enough shape to uh, blow this bum ass dude out. So uh uh Lo siento if this is already asked in Spanish, uh, but obviously this is at a contracted weight of 163, and therefore this is not a title fight. Does this make you uh, just a little angry? Does this put a chip on your shoulder? And if so, if you were to get the the W um, here on the 25th, would you basically in your heart know that you're the champion at 160? You know, um, it doesn't matter if we fight for, for the title or not, you know. Like I said, I come here to fight. Whatever they put in front of me, I'm gonna fight. You know, I'm gonna definitely take this guy out. So I'm like, I'm, I'm just, not I'm more motivated. than anything, you know. I'm uh, I'm really motivated, you know, and I, and I appreciate all. You think I'm that dude that 36 and 15? You think I'm 36 and 15? Hey, can you get someone get him some medicine? He's a little, he's a he might mind a little little. A little, a little bit rest. I'm I'm just looking at your last opponent, 36 and 15. Fuck, at least I'm fighting. I'm. Look, I'm fighting so cool. you. You stay active. Excuses. All you, you did was stay active. on the videos. So shut the fuck yeah, up. I ain't crying on videos. I'll just dedicate yourself to Instagram and post your little crying hey, videos. Don't do it. Don't do it. I, I ain't crying on the videos. I'm, I'm, oh, you're going to be crying. I've seen you're getting smacked. You're going like to be crying, crying, though. You're going to be crying, though. You won't see me crying. For what? Yeah. You ain't going to make me cry. I'm going I'm to stand in the pocket and fight your ass. Don't run, bro. Don't run. Ain't no way. You never see me run. I don't run in my fights. So. All right, don't run. I'm gonna stand right there and fight you. Well, that run is you. All right, come on, come to me. Don't don't run. Don't try to sit side Don't try to do awkward. You're not. You're never gonna, you're, you're not, you're not, you're you're never gonna see me running. So. We're gonna, All right. we're gonna take the gloves off. We're gonna go to the streets with it. Whatever you want to do. You you don't want to take like that. Trust me. You do. Hey, you not like that. Todd, you got anything else? Or you want I, I do. I do. No, I'm just. I'm. I'm just enjoying the banter. I love this and Maul. Uh, one of the reasons I'm also I'm loving the banter because uh, when you get an opponent here that gets you riled up that that wants to trash talk a little bit and maybe throw a little insult your way that may be a little more personal than mm -hmm. they should be. Does this does this make you really want to go for that knockout? Does this make them really want to want to hurt your opponent more? Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much. Uh, keep talking. Keep talking. I have two questions. The first for Jose Benavides Jr. There's a more animosity than the regular coming from you. I love it. And I'm sure people love it too. But uh, is it for something in particular? Maybe the uh, Charlo's attitude or something in the contract? Is it something for that or it's just That's you? Just me. This is there's, just no, you. there's no, no. I mean, it is what it is. Like I said, I'm ready to fight. He's ready to fight. He wants to talk shit. I back my shit up. I don't cry. So. I have to say. Well, I love it, love it. And the one for Charlo, thank you, Jose. The, the one for Charlo is it. From the outside, as a boxing fan, not a journalist, the fight seemed to be carrying more weight than the usual fight, you know, since you're a champion coming back from uh, from th this factor, right? Despite the fight not being for a title, not having a title at stake, would it feel the same, uh, would it feel the same uh, coming from you? <clears throat> Would it be a, a fighting, a, a champion fighting in the ring in the day of the fight? Yeah, same thing. It's gonna feel good. It's gonna feel good to go in there and put these hands on that boy. He not. He don't know what he gonna what he getting himself into. So you know, uh, let him talk. He he said that I talk shit to him. No, I just responded to your shit. I responded to your shit. So whenever you get in there, you just gotta show me. You know what I'm saying? I'm about that. Like show me. Hey, not show me. Show you're me. about that life, you wouldn't be crying on Instagram. No, you're not. I ain't never cried on no Instagram. Bro. Or get Show slapped me. by everybody. It's fine, bro. It's slapped slap by everybody. You ain't slapping. You ain't talking about what you no, can you're do. You're probably trying to press charges. So I ain't gonna press no you charges. Didn't you try to do that to Platt? Slap your ass back. You didn't try. You didn't try. You didn't try to press charges on Platt. Bro, you, bro, you didn't even see all. See, you you only seen one uh, side of the story. You don't even know what the fuck you talking about. So whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna whoop you and then I'm gonna whoop, I'm gonna whoop your brother and I'm gonna whoop Platt. Well, so I think I, uh, I speak for all of us, Brian, when I say we're uh, really excited oh, shit, for bro. this matchup. Right, shit. Watching this right now, the reason why they need to put down their hard-earned money 
Tune in to Showtime pay-per-view to watch you fight Jamal Charlo. Give me the reason why I need to watch November 25th. I mean, it's going to be a great show. Like I said, it's been a lot of trash talking. I mean, it is what it is. I'm not worried about it. I'm not fucking worried about this fucking clown. Uh, but I'm I'm ready. I'm ready to to put a to put the show, you know, put a good show on and take this motherfucker out. That's what I'm gonna do. Jamal, same question to you. People have been fiending to see Jamal Charlo back in the ring. They now get an opportunity to see it November 25th, and you're taking on a world title challenger. Give me the main reason why people should pay their hard-earned money and watch you fight Jose Benavides Jr. on November 25th. Come watch me whoop the shit out this hoe. Jose, ho, you ho, I'm going to whoop your ass, bitch. Watch. Keep keep running your mouth. Watch. Everybody that run their mouth like you, they don't even know what they're stepping into. But you're going to see, I put that on my heart. You ain't going nowhere. Watch. I'm going to stay right there. I'm going to corner your ass in. And I'm going to beat the living fuck out you. Watch. Remember that. Remember that. It ain't there shit you, you can it. do about it. You there started you it. And it popping, nigga. Keep that, keep that same energy when you see me, too. Just don't start crying when I whoop your ass. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say shit, nigga. Right. I ain't gonna say don't shit. You beat me. You, you, you a better man that night. You beat me. You in That's what you yeah, do is you, you make you fucking excuse like out. a bitch. Well, well look, you know, this is the reason why you need to watch November twenty fifth. It all goes down on Showtime pay per view. Fucking dirty ass here, not the capital of the world in Los Angeles. Fucking dirty. Again, tickets are available. Dirty from the dirty south. Dot com. The I'm event is being bitch. promoted by TGB dirty Promotions. Sweating and scared like Camps a bitch. And boxing. Yeah, I'm, I'm from the dirty Jamal Charlo. He is the WBC middleweight champion, making his return to the ring after two and a half years out, taking on Jose Benavidez Jr., world title challenger. It is the co-feature to the main event, David Benavidez taking on Demetrius Andre. It's November 25th, Showtime pay-per-view. Thank you, Jose. Thank you, Jamal. Thank you, all Good of night, you who tuned in for watching. Make sure you tune in to Showtime pay-per-view on bitch. November 25th. I'm Brian Custer. Thanks for watching.